good morning students welcome in english lecture you know that we are going through change the voice we have already discuss voice is that form of verb which shows whether subject does something or something is done there are two types of voice active voice and passive voice in active voice actor is important and in passive voice action is important in active voice actor does something and in passive voice something is done you have already written the active form of verbs and passive form of verbs okay and in the last lecture we have discuss some examples of active voice into passive voice now we are going to continue that examples the example number 4 see here example number 4 the next example vinod can do this this example is given vinod can do this now we have to find out at first at first we have to find out subject then we should find out verb then its tense then voice and then object okay now see here what is given the example is given vinod can do this vinod is a subject okay can plus do this is the verb can is a modal auxiliary and do is the v1 can plus do okay this is a verb transitive verb and this is a object okay when you ask question with who to the main verb that time you will get subject who can do this its answer is vinod so vinod is a subject okay and what can vinod do okay when we ask question with what and whom that time we get answer and that is object what can vinod do its answer is this so this is a object right now we have to change see voice is a active voice because in the list can plus v1 is the active form of verb okay we have to change this active voice into passive voice while changing into passive voice what should we do at first we have to place the object at first this is a object that same object is placed here this then can plus v1 its passive form can plus b plus v3 can plus b plus v3 do its verb third is done this is the passive form can plus b plus v3 this can be done now subject is remain before putting the subject at end we have to use by and vinod should be placed at end after by v should be capital here this can be done by vinod this is the passive voice what is the meaning in marathi vinod can do this vinod he karu shakto ani passive voice he vinod kadun kele jau shakta this is the passive voice correct we have changed just importance of the subject and action next example example number 5 people were watching an accident this example is given people were watching an accident now find out where is subject people is a subject were watching is a verb its tense is past continuous tense is this active voice yes this is active form of verb active voice is given and an accident is a object 
because when you when you ask a question with what what were people watching and its answer is an accident so object is there now change this example into passive voice while changing we have to place object at first and accident this is the object placed here as a subject then where plus watching past continuous active form is given its passive form is was oblique where plus being plus v3 an accident is a singular subject so was plus being plus v3 of this watching what is the v3 watched right and then what is remain subject is remain subject should be placed at the end after by by people p must be small and last full stop was plus being plus v3 this is the passive voice correct okay next example <coughs> i can do this i can i can write a letter see here i can write a letter here i subject can write is a verb and a letter is a object active voice is given writes its passive voice a letter should be placed at before a letter then can plus v3 its passive can plus b plus v3 write its v3 is written a letter can be written by now i should be placed at end after by as a object so its case changes i changes into me and last full stop a letter can be written by me here can be written is the passive form this is passive voice next example <clears throat> next example you should listen it carefully you should listen it carefully now this example is given you is a subject should plus listen v1 model auxiliary plus v1 should plus v1 is given it is a object it is pronoun okay pronoun can be object or subject you should listen it carefully this is adverb carefully is a adverb now look here active voice is given we have to change this active voice into passive voice while changing into passive voice what should we do we have to place the object at first that is it okay this is accusative case but when we put this it at first as a subject there is no change it is placed as it is then should listen its passive form is should plus b plus v3 should plus b plus v3 v3 is listen right it should be listen now the remaining part that is adverb should be placed here it should be listen carefully by you should be placed at end there is no need to change okay this is nominative case but its accusative is the same that is you it should be listen carefully by you this is the passive voice and here should be plus v3 is used to show the passive form correct we have given these examples now the next examples the another example is
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल नंबर एट सी हैज गिवन मी अ गिफ्ट दिस एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन हियर एंड आवर इंस्ट्रक्शन इज चेंज द वॉइस वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज द एक्टिव वॉइस इन टू पैसिव वॉइस and all these are the assertive sentence all these are the assertive sentence see here c is subject has plus given this is verb this is active voice and present perfect tense is given has plus v3 this is active voice present perfect tense then me is a object and a gift is also a object there are two objects see find out when we ask question with what what has c given me and its answer is a gift so this is object correct okay who has see given a gift okay this is the question and what is its answer whom has she given a gift its answer is me so this is also a object but now see here a gift the answer of the question that begin with what that answer is direct object and the answer of the question which start with whom its object is indirect object there are two objects first is indirect object and second is direct object the answer of the question that begin with what is direct object the answer of the question that begin with whom is a indirect object two objects are there okay we can make the two answers here if you are called to start your answer with i that time we should use indirect object at first and if you are instructed to start your answer with a gift that time you have to start with direct object correct now the instruction see here suppose your instruction is begin your sentence begin your sentence with i if there is the instruction begin your sentence with i so we have to go carry this object at first okay now it's passive voice and our instruction is begin your sentence with i so me should be carried at first this indirect object should be placed at first indirect object is me when we put this me as a subject here that me changes into i me is in accusative case and when we want to place this me as a subject that i mean that time we have to change it into i i okay is placed at first then has plus given this is active form its passive form is have oblique has plus been plus v3 so i carry have then been then v3 given okay is this correct see here has plus v3 its passive voice is have oblique has plus been plus v3 correct after i there is have right i carry have then been then v3 now the remain object should be placed here what is the remain object a gift right 
द रिमेन ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी प्लेस्ड आफ्टर द वर्ब अ गिफ्ट एंड देन वी शुड यूज बाय एंड सी चेंजेस इन टू हर दिस इज द आंसर हैव प्लस बीन प्लस वी थ्री दिस इज पैसिव वॉइस I have been given a gift by her. What is the meaning in Marathi? See here the given example. Its meaning. She has given me a gift. Tina mala ek gift dilela ahe. Tina mala ek gift dilela ahe. And now its passive voice. Its meaning is, I have been given a gift by her. Mala ticha kadun ek gift mila lela ahe. This is the answer. Mala ticha kadun ek gift mila leda ahe. This is the passive voice. Correct. In this active voice, subject is important, but in this passive voice, this action is important. Now the next, if there is the instruction, begin. For example, if there is the instruction, begin your sentence. begin your sentence with a gift suppose this instruction is given begin your sentence with a gift that time what should we do that time we should place direct object at first okay that time we can place direct object at first okay keep this direct object at the beginning of the passive voice a gift then has given its passive form have been has plus been plus v3 a gift is a singular subject so there should be there should be has a gift has been given then what is the remain object me correct we have placed direct object at first so indirect object should be placed after the verb here in this example indirect object is placed at first so direct object should be placed after verb right a gift has been given me and last by c changes into her yes these are the answers okay here two objects are given so we can make two answers of the passive voice here right okay now we have to stop here the remain sentences will be in the next lecture if you have some queries or difficulties you can ask me right okay now we have to stop thank you